unless drastic measures are taken to save the opposition from being physically removed, our country may go back 20 years and become a one-party authoritarian state. Unfortunately, the whole EPP family is not here today. This is now the 440th day of my imprisonment. Most of these many months I have been confined in a cell in a prison camp. Thank you for showing your support for the struggle of the people of Ukraine, for their right to join the European family. Ukraine's people, particularly those imprisoned for their politics, can today hold their heads a little higher in the knowledge that here in France, the birthplace of the rights of men, their suffering has been heard and heeded. I'm proud of my mother's stoicism and political courage. Somewhere behind the prison walls, the sun is setting, but I firmly believe that soon it will rise again above my dear Ukraine, and it will be the sun of freedom, of honor and greatness of free people which deserve a future in united and free Europe. Maybe her vision of free and just and prosperous Ukraine is idealistic, but it is a brave and passionate vision. And no more impossible dream than the visions of Václav Havel and Lech Walesa and so many others who brought half of Europe into freedom 20 years ago.